just, I know you still had to get three outs the next thing, but did it feel like a little bit of a relief when you got that run in to take the lead game? Yeah, for sure. I mean, when you have a guy like Brady Tiger on the mound, you know, it, he's pretty much nails in those situations. So um, once we got those two runs in, I think it was, we all knew it was pretty much over. And, and you heard Coach talking about the sacrifice lies tonight. Just, just how big of a impact you feel like that on the game? Um, big impact. I mean, we've been we've been working our butts off all fall, all spring, to uh, capitalize in situ situations like that, and it feels good to to capitalize. So, from a hitter's perspective, how difficult is it to hit a pitcher <coughs> that's throwing 70, 72 miles an hour like that? Um, very difficult. You have to be very disciplined. Um, I think we did a pretty good job buckling down and staying with the approach, which is uh, staying out the middle another way, um, especially later in the game, but. I mean, it's just as hard as hitting somebody throwing 98 when he's throwing 78, so. And what was the mood like kind of in the dugout? Y'all got down, I think, 6-1, 7-2. How were y'all feeling in the dugout? Did y'all still have confidence that you would be able to, to rally like you did? Yeah, we definitely still had confidence. Um, I don't think there was any doubt in our heads that we, were, that we weren't going to come back and win. Um, so, yeah. I don't think you guys attempted a stolen base in Arlington, and then I think you had one today, and there's a few attempts there. Is that something that you're looking forward to doing more moving forward? I know obviously you've stolen bases in your career. Um, yeah, I like to run a little bit, um, but it's based on uh, Coach Van Horn and what he thinks. You know, he doesn't like to uh, run ourselves out of innings, and I think we have guys behind me, and it's not just me, but guys in the lineup that can that can swing the bat really well. So it just comes down to situations. And then you and Stowell, I think. You both of you started like three for three, getting on base in your first three at bats. Just how big is that getting on, get setting the table for this offense and setting things up for the middle of the order like that? Yeah, I think it's big. Um, you know, I think that's that's one of the big reasons that I'm here um, is to set the tone and get on base for the guys behind me. And um, Stovall, same thing. He's just a really good hitter, great discipline. Uh, so yeah, if we can keep getting on base and having guys like Wagner, Cali, Slavens, guys like that to back us up, we're going to be we're going to score a lot of runs. On your sack fly that, that took the lead, what were you looking for and what did you get? Um, it was 3-1 count, um, base open, so I there was kind of idea in the back of my head that he might spin me something, but um, I'm pretty, I was pretty uh, dead red on the fastball and I got one right down the middle of the hit. So. I think Coach Van Horn said that probably without the win may have gone out of the park. Did you feel like you got all of it or did, did you think it was going to maybe have a chance? Um. I hit it pretty well. I hit it pretty well. I, I knew it wasn't getting out today. Um, maybe wind blowing out a little bit, it might be off the batter's eye, but I don't know if I have power like that. I think I've asked you something like this before, but you know, in your career, I think you had three home runs coming into your time with the Razorbacks, and you had the 400 plus foot home run the other day, and then should have had one today. And what's been the difference, would you say, for you as a hitter that's you know maybe taking your game to the next level in that department? Um, I'd say, the weight room for sure, and I'd say uh, Hunter Bell has a has a big uh, impact on that for sure. Just pushing us in the weight room. Um, yeah, we've been grinding in there all all fall and spring, so I'd say the added strength. I think you guys drew more walks than times you struck out today, and Dave said you were facing what he thought was a, a pitcher's zone. I guess what do you make of that? Um, we just competed pretty well, I'd say. Um, yeah, just buckled down. Um, put the ball in play, you know, competed well. That's that's what we're looking for as an offense, and we executed for that pretty well today. There were the three double plays, the ended innings. Uh, you got doubled up on the last one. What did you see on that play, and, and just, just what, uh, were those discouraging at all? Did, did you feel like maybe they, they hampered that comeback in any way? Um, what I saw when I was at second, I thought he jumped a little early, and uh, I thought it was going to get over his head. I think he might have jumped like a 50 inch vertical, but um, yeah, I mean, those things are definitely rally killers, but I don't think we ever got super discouraged about them. I think we kept our head up and uh, still had confidence that we were going to come back and win. This was your first home game. What, what were your thoughts of, of playing out there? Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, I mean, it's a Tuesday at three o'clock and we have way more fans than I would have saw on a Friday night at KU. Um, it's impressive and um, I want to thank all the fans for coming out. I'm glad to be here. Hi, David. Appreciate the time, man.